Hey everybody, this is Michael at Speedy Tees Printing, and today we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how we separate spot colors in Photoshop for screen printing. We're doing a print today, three color print on a black shirt, and we're going to make a highlight screen as well. So what you want to do first is get your image into Photoshop, and just take a look at what the import uh, box comes up and says. We're about 22 inches wide at 300 dpi. Uh, any artwork that's 300 dpi will work out really well with our chokes and spreads and we'll show you how we add those as well. Uh, we're actually only printing at 13 inches so we're going to correct that for our print size right now. Hit OK and everything is up in Photoshop. So the first screen we're going to separate is our white base and what we need to do is select the image within the transparency and we're going to choke that selection by one pixel. We'll show you how to do that right now. Take your first layer and we'll call that artwork. While holding command or control if you're on a PC or, a, or on a Mac. I'm on a PC so I'm going to hit control. We're going to click on the little picture and that'll select your image within the transparent file. Next step is uh, go up to the right and you want to go to the select menu all the way down to modify. And we're contracting this by one pixel. So select contract, one pixel, hit OK, and that's it. So if we zoom in quickly, I'll just give you a quick uh, zoom in on this. You'll see that the selection is now exactly one pixel into the artwork, and that's what we want. It's perfect what we want. Make a new layer, and we'll call that white base. After that, check your background color. We want to be selecting black because that's what we're going to print on the uh, transparency. Once you've got that, hit Control Delete, and you'll see that you have a black image for your selection, which is perfect. It's which exactly what we want. We'll zoom in again, and we'll show you that we have just a hint of yellow peeking through. That's exactly what you want. Whiting tends to dry a little bit uh, and expand as it dries. And this will just help prevent white from peeking out under your images. So the next color we're going to grab is our yellow. So deselect by hitting Control or Command D. That will deselect anything that you have in your image. The next step, we want to select the yellow. So go back up to the Select menu, come down to Color Range, use the eyedropper and pin it on the yellow. Once you've got that, hit OK and you'll see everything yellow is selected. At this point, we're actually going to expand our yellow by one pixel. So go down from the selection, from select menu, go down to modify and select expand. One pixel, hit OK, create a new layer and we'll call that yellow. Once again, our background color is black. Command or control delete. And that will give you just the yellow parts selected and put in black. And I'm just uh, deselecting by control delete there just so I can take a better look. We've contracted our whole image by one, expanded our yellow by one. And if you look at our original artwork, the yellow will actually go out over the white base by two pixels now. And that's, that's about the limit. If you start to go into three and four pixels, you really notice it on the shirt when you're printing. So we try to to limit those uh, contractions and expansions by one pixel each way. We're going to now grab our purple and to do that again it's select from the menu, color range, just eye drop the purple. Purple's now selected and with the purple we're going to do the same thing. We're going to actually expand it by one pixel and what that does is it overlaps our yellow and our purple by two pixels which is again about as much as you want to go to do these things. Um, in our print order, by the way, we're going to print our white base, our yellow, our purple, and then our white highlight. So we've got our selection made. Zoom right in. We expanded it by one pixel. And we're going to now make a new layer, name that purple. Command or Control, Delete, and you've got your selection. Now on to the white base, or rather the white highlight. We'll deselect that. Let's grab the white highlight and we'll go back up to the select menu, 
select color range, I drop the white inside the image, hit OK. We're going to contract this again. And uh, it's a general rule of thumb. White ink expands as it dries and just contract it by at least one pixel, maybe two at very most, depending. But in this case, we're going to go with one, one pixel contraction. If you zoom in again, you can just get a good look. Let me see. Now remember, the purple was expanded by one, so it should actually go butt, butt up against each other when we print this. And make a new layer, and we'll call this one white highlight. Command delete. And there's your separations. Um, what I like to do when I'm saving these files is I'll actually save. Um, the way I print my, my film positives is, is out of Illustrator. And what I do is I'll save these all, and I'll call them what they are. So we hit save as uh, to the computer. We got a folder called Warden Station Patties. Uh, this guy, um, one of our clients, Jesse from ScarboroughSpots.com. This is his artwork, and he's got a lot of fantastic ideas when it comes to uh, Scarborough nostalgia, and and not just Scarborough nostalgia, but Scarborough in general. You should check out his site if you're in the uh, Toronto, Greater Toronto area. So this screen, we'll call it screen. Put a dash, and this is our white base. So it's Save it like that as a Photoshop file. Um, next will be our yellow. Just toggle on and off your different screens. Yellow. Save this one as our purple. And finally, our white highlight. I'll just name it highlight. There you have it. That's how we separate our screens in Photoshop for spot color screen printing.